Uh, we're now joined by uh, Missouri State Representative from Springfield, Sarah Lampy. Sarah, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. You had issued a statement today, uh, and, it, and I'll read it for, for those who haven't seen it. It says, Mizzou coaches defense of a child rapist enabler. University of Missouri football coach Gary Pinkle on Tuesday called the late Penn State football coach Joe Paterno a great football coach and a great man. Paterno may have been a great coach, but as a man, he failed at what mattered, protecting children from a sexual predator. As the exhaustive investigation into the Penn State scandal by former FBI Director Louis Free proved beyond a shadow of a doubt to all but the most sycophantic of Paterno worshipers, Coach Paterno protected and covered up for a serial child rapist and in doing so enabled him to keep raping children for another decade. A great man never would have done such a foul thing that a great football coach did should be disturbing to everyone. Coach Pinkle's defense of the indefensible indicates that he holds the same attitude that allowed the reprehensible situation at Penn State to occur. The attitude that building a successful football program is more important than everything else, including protecting innocent children from rapists. Strong language. Uh, that's your statement, right? That is my statement. Uh, I've spent 30 years as a public educator defending children and fighting for them, and I've spent eight years in the state legislature also fighting for the rights of kids and fighting against bullies. And I will tell you that um, if we don't change the language about uh, supporting the adult in this situation instead of focusing on the children, we're going to continue to have more incidents like this. We can't continue to hold people up um, and revere them when they are a part of destroying children's lives. We can't do that. And what I guess I would have hoped that Coach would have done is, Coach Pinkle would have done is focus on children. And because I know he cares about them, and I, I was I'm heartbroken that he went this direction. Did you read the uh, free report that you cited? Yes. You read the whole thing? No, not the whole thing. I read a summary of it. So you just read the summary. So you're not familiar with John Seesock? I am not. He was the uh, psychologist who concluded that Jerry Sandusky committed no, nothing sexually inappropriate in the 1998 incident. Like, you're not aware of that, are you? Nope. I just know what the findings came out of the court. Well, the court or the free report? The, the free report. What, what is your opinion of the findings? Well, my opinion is that we have to stand up for children. And when children are abused and taken advantage of, People that are in, responsible for that need to suffer the consequences of that, according to the law. But with regard to Joe Paterno, what do you feel that came out of the well, free report? Well, what came out of the report in relationship to Joe Paterno is that he covered up what was going on. How did he do allowed the abuse to continue. How did he do that, Sarah, according to the report? He didn't report it. He could have called the police. That's not true. He did report it, and he did report it to the head of the University Police Department. And so the problem rests with, what's the answer to that? Who does the problem rest with? The problem, the the, the problem rests with the people that he reported it to. I mean, that's strong language that you used against Joe Paterno here. You called him a, a, a child rapist enabler, and yet there's nothing in the free report that says anything close to that. Stand by my words. Well, how can you stand by your words if you didn't read the report? stand by my words. I stand by my words because I believe that as long as we continue to focus on the adults and hold the adults up in any situation in which children have been abused, that we've lost the focus of what this is all about. But aren't when we place football in a situation of being more important than the lives of children, then we've got a problem. Did Joe Paterno and, and, do that? And Coach Pinkle stood and used his public voice to defend the adult. I'm using my public voice to stand and defend the children in this case. But you're slandering the adults. No, I'm not slandering well, the yes, adults. Yes, you are. You, you said in your statement, these are your words, that the free report proved beyond a shadow of a doubt. And now you're telling me you didn't even read the free report. What's your answer to that? My answer is that I'm standing up for the children in this scenario. Well, you can stand up for the children all day be. long, Sarah, but you're slandering yeah. people while you're doing that. That's more repulsive to me than anything else that went on by that, that Joe Paterno did, that's for sure, or that Gary Pinkle said. You're taking two people, Gary Pinkle and Joe Paterno, and you're slandering them for no reason. First of all, all Gary Pinkle said was that Joe Paterno is a great man and a great coach and a great friend. 
and he wishes they weren't blaming him for everything. <clears throat> I think Pinkle's wrong there. They're not blaming him for everything. But you're saying that Paterno enabled a child rapist to get away with child rape for years. <clears throat> Any person who is in charge of another person, like Paterno <clears throat> was for Sandusky, and he didn't follow through. Well, you're wrong again. Yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah. you're wrong again. He was not in charge of Sandusky. Sandusky had retired. Oh, really? Through all those years? All yes, those years yes, and really. all those reports? Yes, really. really. Yes, really. The first so reported even, incident, so the first, if you'd read the report, hit. if you'd read the report, you'd know that. The first reported incident was 1998. He was retired. In fact, he was negotiating his retirement agreement at the time. The but second reported retired, incident, the second reported incident, retired. yes, he was. He was not coaching on Penn State's coaching staff anymore. He was not working for Joe Paterno. So you're in also fact, defending the guy. Is that fact, correct? In, no, I'm, is that I, correct? No, what I'm doing is reading the free report and going by the facts. What you're doing is reading media accounts and, and in my opinion, grandstanding for votes on the back of a dead man. No, what I see you doing is using is supporting a man who should not be supported in this case. Based and on what? I'm supporting children's lives. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it. You said, for, for you just said Joe Paterno lives. should not be defended. Based on what? Based on my opinion. I think he Your acted opinion? inappropriately. You don't know what he did. You said you started this conversation by saying that he did not report these, this incident. That's so incorrect that it's not even funny. No one has accused Joe Paterno of that except you. Why didn't you read the report before you issued that statement? You know, I probably should have, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should have. Because I think it makes you look bad. And I think that you're slandering a guy. By the way, let's understand my position. I'm not doing this for the votes. Like you suggest all may be. You're not doing it to get votes? Well, it's the fact that we have children throughout this country that are abused every day by adults. And when those adults continue to be held up for whatever reason, instead of focusing on the issue at hand here, instead of focusing on the issue of the fact that we have children continually abused, we have to stand up and say no more. That, well, that's not the issue. That, that's not the issue. The issue is no one, no one, no one disagrees with you that children are abused and it's horrific. I disagree with you because you made, in my opinion, slanderous statements to grandstand to get votes regarding a dead coach, and you did it without ever reading the report. I doubt that you read one word of it, and you admitted you didn't. You read a summary of it. So you read nothing of the details. You have no idea what Joe Paterno did or did not do, and yet you come out and say that he enabled child pedophilia to go on for years. I think that's a disgrace. I continue to stand <clears throat> for the fact that children are the focus of this issue, and when we hold up adults instead of children in this scenario, we have let our children down in the United States. Do you think it's okay? Uh, we're talking with State Representative Sarah Lampy. Do you think, if, and she's running for lieutenant governor on the Democratic side, do you think it's okay, Sarah, if I accuse your husband of child pedophilia and make some statements that I, that I think he's enabled a child pedophile to get away with it for years? Do you think that's an okay statement? I'm going to tell you that in today's media market, pretty much anything can probably be said. You could probably say that. Do you think it's okay if I say that? that but it's the not, whole reason I no, it's the not that I can't say it. Is, Sarah, it's, it's not that right. I can't say it. It's I'm asking you, do you think it's okay if I say that? What I am saying. No, I'm just asking you the question. Do you think that's okay if I say that? What I'm suggesting is that what we need to be doing is focusing on children's lives and the lives that have been destroyed because of adults. Then why didn't you focus on the children's lives? Why, why, hey, Sarah, why didn't your statement focus on the children's lives as opposed to two football coaches? My, my statement is focusing on children's lives. It is? How is it focusing on children's lives? You say in there, and this is, as, and you have to admit this is inaccurate in your statement, that the free report proved beyond a shadow of a doubt. You didn't even read the free report, so you don't know what it proved or disproved. And what do you know about children's lives and how, they, and how children who are abused are treated and how that their issues are swept under the rug? What does that have to do with anything? Well, that's what I'm wondering, what, you, what your question has to do with anything. What, which question? The question I asked you that you failed to answer was, is it okay if I accuse your husband of enabling child pedophiles to get away with pedophilia for years? You didn't answer that question. I am understanding the way I understand the report. 
that, that you didn't read. The report that you didn't read. I read a summary of the report, and I also heard the news report on that report. News and reports. My, okay, you heard news reports. What did you hear on the news reports? And my conclusion from that is the reason I made the statement that I made. Well, I'll ask you again. Would you be okay if I made that same statement about your husband that you made about Joe Paterno? I don't think that has anything to do with what we're talking about. Well, yes, it does, because you're running for public office, and I think voters uh, have the right to understand a candidate who will say anything without having any basis for saying it whatsoever. I think I have basis for saying what I said. What basis? I News reports? Basis from the reports. News yeah. reports. I have the basis from the, the free report that, that we had before us, the summary of that. I'm being just really honest. But did I read every single word in that? I will be honest with you and tell you I didn't do that. But I don't think you I read any. But the summary of that led me to the conclusion of what I said, and I stand by what I said. All right, which part of the summary did you read that led you to that conclusion? I don't have that in front of me. So you don't know? I don't have that in front of me. Wouldn't you know, before you issued such a strongly worded statement, wouldn't you be confident that you knew exactly which part of that report led you to that kind of a conclusion? I think you saw news reports, and I think, like many people, you base your opinion on the news reports, and then you thought it was a popular position to take, and you took that position in order to grandstand for votes. That's what I believe. I've actually had this position for 30 years, standing up for children. About Joe Paterno? About standing up for children. Your statement had nothing to do, your statement, Sarah, had nothing to do with standing up for children. It had everything to do with saying that Gary Pinkle has the same qualities as someone that would enable a child pedophile to get away with child rape for years, which you attributed to Joe Paterno, by the way. Then you put those same qualities on Gary Pinkle. It had nothing to do with standing up for children's rights. Where in your statement are you standing up for children's rights? Well, standing up for children's rights, because as long as we continue to allow this discussion to be about adults instead of children, that's where we fail to stand up for children's rights. You made your statement about adults. That's because that's what Coach Pinkle said. What did Coach Pinkle say? I'm not going to repeat what Coach Pinkle said. Because you don't know. I do know what he, is what he said. Well, why wouldn't you repeat it then? My, my point is that when we focus on the positive attributes of adults, instead of focusing on the tragedies of children's lives that, are, that, were, that they suffered at the hands of adults that shouldn't have happened, then we lose sight of where the conversation should be. No, and, no. And when we hold up a person as being a wonderful person, that is troubling to me. Why is it and troubling to you when you know nothing... You know nothing about Joe Paterno. My guess is you've never met him. Have you ever met Joe Paterno? And Coach Pinkle used his public voice to make his statement about Joe Paterno, and I'm using my public voice to stand up for children. If you were standing up for children, that's one thing. You're not. Your statement has nothing to do with standing up for children. Again, explain to our listeners who are voters what your statement says about standing up for children as opposed to tearing into a dead man and a, and a current football coach at Missouri for saying that he was a good friend and a good man. I think when children's lives are destroyed by the decisions that adults make... Which adults? Sarah, which adults are you talking about? When we make football more important than... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. A problem. Which adults are you talking about? Which adults? You I'm just talking about any adult that does not support or does not uh, protect children within any program we have. Then you're, not, then you're not talking about Joe Paterno, according to the free report. So who are you talking about? I'm going to stand by my statement that... Uh, How can you stand by a statement that you've already admitted you didn't read the, the report that you quoted in the statement as the basis for you forming your opinion? How can you stand by that statement? Wouldn't you be wiser to retract that statement and say, maybe in the future I'll read the report that I'm uh, attributing these comments to? Wouldn't that be Kevin, a wiser course? Kevin, I would hope that you would also... Uh, 
step back from what you're saying to me and accusing me of and what you're saying and what you're saying is my motivation and and putting uh, making an assumption about what that motivation would be and why I would be doing that when that's not the case at all. Well, here's why. And, I, I'll so tell you why I'm basing it. I'll argue the fact that you, in fact, are the one trying to make this about something other than what it was intended to be made for. And no. that this is about standing up and having the conversation about children. And when we continue to put adults on the pedestal when they have done wrong, and I think that's incorrect. And you're trying to make it about the fact that I didn't do something I should have done. I'm simply making a statement that I'm disappointed in the state of Missouri and for a loser to say that. That's not what and your statement said. Wrong with making that comment. Sarah, that's not what your statement said at all, and you know better. You, you said nothing I like that. Really, I think you're incorrect, Kevin. Well, read your statement. You want me to read it again? I will. No, I don't want you to read your, the statement again. My point is you're trying to make an assumption about what my intention is. I'm making it based on your lack of knowledge regarding the statement that you attributed to the free report. You have, you have a total lack of knowledge of the free report. A total lack of knowledge by your own admission. My lack of knowledge. No, I do have, a, I do have knowledge of the free report. I read it. You didn't, but I didn't issue. I didn't issue a cockamamie statement slandering two football coaches because I need some votes, and it's a popular position to take. You admitted yourself. You admitted yourself, Sarah. Sarah, you admitted yourself that you based it on news reports, and news reports were all negative toward Joe Paterno. So you based it on that, and you, and what you claim you read as a summary. I can't come to any other conclusion based on what you've told me. Your own words, not my words. Your words. That you must have been taking a popular position in order to get votes. That ground is also very negative. And how would I interpret that? To interpret your what? Position me is also very negative. Pardon? And, and so I would argue that perhaps you're doing what you're accusing me of doing. What? Not knowing anything about the fact that I fought for kids for 30 years. It's not, it, that's irrelevant to me. Hey, you know what? If yes. you fought for kids for 30 years, I congratulate you. But that's irrelevant to this discussion. This discussion is about your statement about two football coaches, one of which you, you basically called a child rapist enabler, and the other one you attributed the same tendencies to when you didn't even read the report that you based those comments on. And I want to know why you would issue a statement like that with that strong a language having not read the report. You're running for office. You want people You want people to believe in you. You want them to trust what you say, and this is what you do? Kevin, because I read a summary of the report, and the summary of the report finding led me to that conclusion that made me very, very sad that we yeah. would stand up for adults when children's lives are being destroyed. And when I ask you which part of that summary led you to that conclusion, you can't answer me. I don't have that in front of me, Kevin. Well, why wouldn't you know it? I don't have that in front of me. Why wouldn't you have a firm grasp of that information? You're running for public office. You issued a statement based on that information. I would think that information is committed to memory. It sure would be for me before I ever made such a statement. This has nothing to do with the fact that I'm running for public office. This has everything to do with the fact that someone has to speak up for children. And nobody's doing that. When else have you issued a public statement speaking up for children? Well, I have carried legislation repeatedly to stop bullying in schools and to stop this obsessive behavior we have on children that causes them to commit suicide. I have repeated uh, news releases that relate to bullying and legislation filed every year that I've been in the legislature to strengthen those laws. But you've never given a public statement on anything. Yeah, then we have. We can release. Uh, we can pass all kinds of laws in the state. No, but what I'm saying, Sarah, is the, the point here is you've never issued a public statement until today, and you say it has nothing to do with running for office. And yet here you are running for office, and you issue a public statement. Let me ask you this simple question. Recite to me, just recite to me, since you said that you read this summary of the report, and then you came out with this uh, horribly critical statement of Joe Paterno, slanderous as I see it. Recite to me the facts that you know from the report about Joe Paterno's involvement that led you to this conclusion. Just give me the facts that you know that, you, that you're that you using as your basis. Kevin, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I don't have that report right in front of me. You can't name I'm one thing? Kevin, not I'm one? I'm not going to do that right now until I have that report in front of me. Can't you name one thing, Sarah? 
Kevin, what you're doing is trying to make this about me as opposed to about the children whose lives have been destroyed. You're the one that issued the statement. That is correct. I did issue the statement. And I did issue the statement because I wanted to use my public voice as a state representative, of which I'm not running for re-election, to use my public voice to stand up for children in the state of Missouri. Well, you didn't That's use it to stand up for it. children, though. I don't believe anyone, Sarah, 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 let's be realistic here. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic here. You make statements like that, and people listening are laughing. That you wanted to use this statement to stand up for kids when not one thing in there is standing up for kids. Everything in there is tearing Joe Paterno to pieces along with Gary Pinkle. Nothing in there is standing up for kids. Why don't you issue a statement that says you're standing up for kids if that's what you want to do? That's laughable, and we all know that. And you are running for office, by the way. Children's lives are laughable, Kevin. I think they're very important. And when we play sports activities above the lives of children, I think that's where we, where we have a problem. And well, as long no. as the attitude of individuals who promote, uh, whether they're activities or they promote act- or, or overlook or uh, turn the other cheek, overlooking abuse to children, I think that's wrong. Well, then, th- th- hey, nobody disagrees with you about that, but you're accusing the wrong people. No one, no one disagrees with you that people that don't report things are wrong. But you're accusing the wrong people. Joe Paterno did report it, and had you read the report, you would know that he reported it. Other people didn't do their job, but that's not who you chose to go after. You chose to go after Joe Paterno and Gary Pinkle. Do you know Gary Pinkle, and have you spoken to him since his comments were made? No. So you didn't speak to him at all? You just read news accounts of those, too, I suppose. True? True. I read the news accounts. So you read news accounts, and you issue statements like this based on news accounts? No. Yes. I read the news accounts, and I made a conscious decision to issue the statement I made because the focus was on adults. Based on the news accounts. You, you made your statement based on news accounts. a person as an adult as opposed to our opportunity here in Missouri to focus on the lives of children. Then focus on them and quit issuing statements that are slanderous to people, and especially a man who's in a grave and can't defend himself, when you know nothing about the facts of the case. You know nothing about that, Sarah. Not one fact can you recite about the Joe Paterno invest or the Penn State investigation involving Joe Paterno, according to the Free Report. You can't recite one fact. What I can tell you is that there were uh, many children hurt in the scenario. Well, whoop de do. Thank you for thank you for telling us that because we wouldn't have known that otherwise. I don't understand how you can issue this kind of a statement. Not only about Joe Paterno, but about Gary Pinkle, without first having talked to Pinkle. You couldn't talk to Joe Paterno, but you could have read the report. You decided not to read the report. And then you didn't talk to Gary Pinkle. He is the football coach down in Missouri. You're running for lieutenant governor. I would think he'd take your call. What's to me, Kevin, is that you're not focusing this session on what we can do to help support children. That's not what. It, that's because you didn't issue a statement about that. You issued a statement okay. about other coaches, two of which I'm talking to you about. I'm talking to you about your statement. We never told you that we were going to talk to you about focusing on helping children. We told you we were going to talk to you about your statement. But by focusing on those adults, as you have done, that allows us to... No, as you have done. No, you are the one who focused on the adults. That's you are the one that issued the statement. You issued the statement, not me. You issued the statement. I did not issue the statement. I'm looking at your statement again, and I'm not finding anything about... Here's what I'm looking for, Sarah. As we talked to Sarah Lampy, who's running for uh, uh, lieutenant governor, I'm looking for your statement to find something that says, here I am standing up for the rights of abused children. And you know what? Oddly, I find nothing in this statement that you issued that you said was your statement regarding standing up for children. Nothing. You're giving me that opportunity now, aren't you, Kevin? No, I'm not. I'm asking you why you would issue this kind of a statement, not knowing a single fact and not knowing uh, anything about Gary Pinkle and what he actually said by talking to him. You've done neither. You simply issued this statement.
Your response to that? My response to that is the same that it's been all along. If we're going to talk about holding up people that are coaches that are doing things that I don't agree with what they're doing, then we're focusing on adults instead of children. You don't know what they were doing because you didn't look into it. You actually referred to me as a sycophant in this statement. To me. And I take exception to that. You know what that first, you know the meaning of that word? I certainly do. And you referred to me in those terms because here's what you wrote and here's what you said. First because of all, you said that the free report proved beyond a shadow of a doubt, which we know is a lie because you didn't even read it, to all but the most sycophantic of paternal worshipers. Well, guess what? I don't believe the free report proved anything beyond a shadow of a doubt. And so that makes me a sycophant of a paternal worshiper in your words. And I resent that. And I would ask you to apologize to me and everyone else who read the report and feels differently than you. You can apologize for that? Are you going to apologize to me right now for that? You know what a sycophant does? Are you going to apologize to me for calling me and a lot of other people that word? Well, do you know what that word means? Are you going to apologize, Sarah? Yes, I know what it means. I'm not in third grade. Why do you dodge simple questions? Are you going to apologize? Are you going to retract that statement? Well, you know, there's an old saying, if the shoe fits, wear it. So you are calling me a sycophant. I am saying that if you are worshiping a person... I don't worship anybody. I don't worship any people. Kevin, you said, because if you look at the meaning of that word, that's about a person who... Well, I, I think maybe you ought to look it up, because it's about wanting someone's favor and uh, of a person of influence. And if you are that person... I'm, I'm surprised you would agree that you are that person. Well, first of all, you're a good politician now trying to twist words around. I never said anything remotely near that. Number one, how could I be trying to gain Joe Paterno's favor when he's dead? Well, that's why I'm wondering why you think that re- applies to you. Because you, anybody who thinks that Joe Paterno is not an enabler of a child sexual predator like you claim, that that's what they are. That's what your statement says. Well, that's incorrect. If you read the statement... Really? Well, let me read it for you. Let me read it for you. And you can point out, you can point out where I'm so uh, 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 illiterate that I don't understand your words. As the exhaustive investigation into the Penn State scandal by former FBI Director Louis Free proved beyond a shadow of a doubt to all but the most sycophantic of paternal worshipers. Well, it didn't prove that to me, so that must make me a sycophant of paternal worshipers. Your words, not mine. Which part yeah. don't I understand? Yeah. And, but you admit you're a paternal worshiper? No, I don't. You said that. You said if I don't agree that this free report proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that paternal was this evil ogre, that I am a sycophantic paternal worshiper. That's what your statement said. And so you don't believe the report? I read the report. I know that that's not what it says. And it proves, by the way, it proves by by Louis Free's own words, it proves nothing beyond the shadow of a doubt. His own words are speculation. His own words are reasonable to conclude. Those are his words, again, not mine. He didn't interview any of the principals involved in the Penn State scandal, with the exception of the university president, Graham Spanier. No one else talked to him, and Joe Paterno's dead. And so your sense is that Paterno is totally innocent in this action at all? Well, can you tell me where he's guilty? No, I'm asking if you're... you're well, if you can tell me what he's done, I read the report. I found nothing in the report that he did wrong. And so... Why don't you tell me what he did wrong? Because apparently you, you based this statement... On, on facts that you said that he, that he did something wrong. What did he do wrong? You've already erred in your first statement when you said he didn't report the incident. Now, what else did he supposedly do wrong that you based your statement on? Any person who is... Sarah, why can't you answer a simple question? Is this how you're going to run for office? It's a simple question. What other facts did you use from the free report to base your statement of Joe Paterno and your opinion of Joe Paterno? On. Kevin, what did you what did you use because, from that report? Well, I guess I would be interested in knowing why you think he's so innocent. 
Why do you turn the question around? It's not going to work, by the way. I'm asking you that simple question. I did not issue a statement. I did not issue a statement of any kind. I'm not running for any office. You're running for office. You chose to issue a statement with a popular, what you thought was a popular position. I want to know what facts you base your statement that Joe Paterno is not a great man and he failed at protecting children from a sexual predator. Again, your words, not mine. And you said that he covered up for a serial child rapist and in doing so enabled him to keep raping children for another decade. What did you base that on, Sarah? Well, I believe they considered uh, Sandusky to be guilty, didn't they? What does that have to do with Joe Paterno? Well, I believe that he worked uh, as a part of his team. No, he did not. Not at this time. He was a head coach, but the guy wasn't a coach underneath him. No, not at this time he was not. No. Well, you know, we probably only know the incidents that have happened since 89. We probably don't know the ones that went on before that, if in fact they did. And I don't know if they did or not. But the point being is that if you've worked with a person for a long period of time, I think you would know them pretty well. You didn't say that. Here's what you said. I'll repeat it to you again. I don't know if some hack wrote this or if you actually wrote this, but you don't even know what your own statement says. I'll repeat it to you again. You said Paterno failed in protecting children from a sexual predator, and he protected and covered up for a serial child rapist, and in so doing enabled him to keep raping children for another decade. What, again, facts are you citing to come to that conclusion about Joe Paterno? That he that Jerry Sandusky coached under him? So every other coach on that staff did the same thing? They enabled a child molester to continue on? Which facts? Any, any person. I don't have those facts in front of me, Kevin. You, I told you that at the beginning. Sarah, don't have you don't have any facts. Any at all. You based this statement on what you thought was popular opinion. Because you didn't base yeah. it on any facts at all. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, my Kevin. Yeah, you should be. I think what you did, I think what you did is nothing short of slander, and I think, I think you ought to be sued for it, and I think what you did is a disgrace. And if you're a public servant, then I don't want to have any public servants in Missouri. Because if you represent what we vote for, and you're serving our government, I think you're a disgrace. That's what I think. Kevin, uh, it makes me really sad to hear you say Well, you, I'm glad it makes you sad, because I think you're a disgrace, and I'll bet you that everybody listening to this interview thinks you're a disgrace. Well, I believe we're talking about adults again instead of children. Yeah, and we're going to make sure that this goes statewide so that everybody can hear what you said and what you say about people without having any, any factual evidence to back it up whatsoever, and you don't care. I do care, and I do care about the lives of children. And I care about the fact that this conversation has turned into protecting adults. And- well, it's not, it's not about protecting adults. I'm not protecting anybody. Joe Paterno doesn't need protection. He's dead. Is this how you'll, is this what you're telling Missouri voters, how you'll handle business as lieutenant governor if you're elected? That facts well, won't matter to you? This has nothing to do with that election. This well, yes, it has everything to do with the election. You're running for office. Is this how you're going to handle the, the office of lieutenant governor if you're elected? That you're going to issue slanderous statements about people willy-nilly based on your whim and popular opinion, that you, you suspect is popular opinion, that you're not going to use facts, and when you're asked about the facts, you're going to say, sorry, I don't know. Is that how you're going to conduct yourself? The way I'm going to conduct myself is the way I've conducted myself for the last eight years. Well, this is really bad. And that is to stand up for children and to speak out for them when nobody else is willing to do that. Well, when you're doing that, when you're doing that, be careful not to slander innocent people. Well, and could I interpret what you're saying about me as being that as well? As being what, slanderous? Mm Mm-hmm. What, how have I slandered you? I stated yeah. that I think you're a disgrace for issuing these statements about two individuals without one fact to back them up. Well, Give me some facts. Hey, I'll tell you what, Sarah. If you can recite some facts that you base this on, I'll apologize to you right now. Go ahead. I don't have that report in front of me. Kevin. I didn't I think so. Didn't I didn't think so. And you can't recall one fact. You just issued this statement today. Certainly those facts that, base the, that you base this statement on would be fresh in your mind. Clearly, I'm not 
going to satisfy your inquiry. Clearly, I'm just I'm asking you, Sarah, you just you issued the statement today. And, Certainly and, the facts behind it would be fresh in your mind, or you wouldn't and, have okayed the statement. And clearly, you want to focus on adults instead of children. Yeah. Clearly, so, clearly, so, you want to double talk your way out of this, and it isn't so, working, so, and so you keep repeating you want to focus on the, the poor children that everybody agrees were victimized. That's not news. That's nothing spectacular. You don't get pats on the back for that. What what you what you did was you slandered two people, one who's dead, the other one who is the current football coach at the University of Missouri, who, by the way, I have no particular affinity for. So if you think I'm friends with Gary Pinkle, uh, you're wrong. I in no way thought you would be, much. And, and I'm sorry, but that's the truth. All right. Well... I'll give you one more chance to apologize for the statement. I think you probably want to retract this statement, don't you? Which one? The one that you issued today. Well, I'll have to think about that, Kevin, because I've gotten some really great support from people who stand up for children's rights. And uh, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do here on that. But I, I, I stand by the fact that we uh, have to change our attitude about the way we um, talk about children that are abused. Well, I, th- I don't think we have to change our attitude the way we talk about children that are abused at all. I think everybody's against it. Well, but we're not real eager to talk about the fact that adults who are involved in any way uh, need to also step up and take responsibility for that. I agree it's very difficult for us to have the conversation about Coach Paterno since he's passed. But the reality is... You didn't find it very difficult to talk about him in your statement. The bigger picture here is about adults stepping forward and saying, let's please make a commitment in the state of Missouri that we're going to look out for children, that no game is going to be more important than the lives of children. That's my comment, Kevin. Well, there's no evidence There's no evidence that a game was ever more important than the lives of children, so that's another straw you're grasping at. I'll tell you what, you said you're going to think about retracting this statement. Would you let us know your decision? Well, I wouldn't say I'm going to think about retracting it. I'm going to think Well, actually, about you did say that. You did say oh, you're going to think about retracting it. Excuse me. I'm going to think about what you said and what you've asked me to do. Excuse me. I, I said that incorrectly. Well, no, I've asked you to retract your statement, and you're going to think about that, right? I'm going to think about the statement that I've made. Well, how, well, how are you going to think about it? What is it that you're going to consider about it? Well, I'm going to see if there are stronger words I can use to help stand up for children. So... In other words, you're going to use words that would stand up for children as opposed to the words you used in this statement because you didn't use any words standing up for children in the statement. Well, I, I actually think it is about that. You and, do? And, and it, yeah, I do. Which part? And, and, uh, which part? I'm Sarah, which, which part of the statement stands up for children that you think this statement is about? I think when we overlook as adults... No, no, wait a minute. I'm, not, I'm asking you about your particular statement. Is this part standing up for children? That the investigation into the Penn State scandal by former FBI Director Louis Free proved beyond a shadow of a doubt to all but the most sycophantic of paternal worshippers that Coach Paterno protected and covered up for a serial child rapist? Is that standing up for children? Yeah, I think any time we stand up and say we don't want children to be raped, absolutely. You didn't say that, though. You didn't say you don't want children to be raped. You said Joe Paterno covered up for a serial child rapist. So I'll ask again, will you retract this statement and issue in its place a statement that you say, I want to stand up for children's rights. I don't think children should be sexually abused. I'll tell you what I'll do, Kevin. I'll give your, your request uh, serious consideration. How's that? I will think about what you said, and I'll make a decision about that. And would you let us know? I certainly will. And I will hope that if we do that, you will... Uh, um, Oh, I probably shouldn't say that. I was going to say, not be so harsh. <laughs> well, I'm harsh on people that make statements without having any facts to back them up. Well, I feel like that that's that I have uh, what I needed to make that statement, Kevin. But and yet, I'm you can't cite one thing. You, you feel you feel that, that you you feel that you have what you needed. You feel that you have what you needed to make the statement, but yet you can't cite one thing that you had to make the statement. I find that to be a bizarre explanation. From your inquiry, though, what I'm going to do based on your inquiry is go back and look. I will do that. 
I'd be glad to do that. And if you stand I by this statement... I to lose sight of the fact that my purpose in doing this and my intent in doing this was in no way to be... Uh, it's to be harsh on the adults that don't want to focus on children. And, and when I say harsh, I mean we, we cannot let that conversation die. And when, as long as we always swing it back to adults, then we miss the point of why well, we have to stand up and speak out for children. The person who swung it back to adults was you in your statement. I, I believe that was just reflecting back what had been said. By whom? By Coach Pinkle. Or what Coach Pinkle had said. And Joe Paterno? Him. Yeah. And I guess, and that was my feeling, that, that it would, we, just, we just cannot continue to hold people up on pedestals. That, and, well, and here's the you, thing. Here's, the, here, here, here's where I disagree with you, and then I'll let you go, because I know we've kept you a long time. This is, this is not about holding Joe Paterno up on a pedestal. This is about getting the facts out. And the facts are the facts. Some are in the free report. Some is speculation. None of which, by the way, is any factual evidence to come close to what you said. And you have no idea because you didn't read the report. But I'll tell you what. We thank you for staying with us. We thank you for coming on. And uh, let us know if you're going to retract that statement. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Sarah. Bye-bye now. All right. That is Missouri State Representative Sarah Lampy. Stop. Running for lieutenant governor.